I'm Robert Ryan, game designer on The Last of Us. And I'm Quentin Cobb, game designer on The Last of Us. We're here to talk about patch 1.03 for The Last of Us multiplayer. This patch has a lot of gameplay fixes and technical fixes, so let's get right into it. To start us off, the revive range has been increased just gotcha. a little bit to make it harder to accidentally wander outside of the range of someone who's reviving you. The item cast locations have been adjusted for balance on a few maps. So players can now prevent opponents from getting special executions by downing or killing the player doing the execution. This will now prevent opponents from getting any sort of bonus related to that action. We fixed a few bugs related to the intro cameras at the start of a match. We've updated our matchmaking so that you're more likely to be matched up with players around your rank and that the teams will be balanced more evenly. We fixed an issue where the item caches were giving teams too many items if they had just made a comeback. And finally, in patch 1.03, we've included a brand new original game mode called Interrogation. In this mode, you must interrogate your enemies to find their lockbox and steal the supplies your faction needs to survive. It's a pretty complicated game mode, so we're gonna just jump in and start giving you some details about it. Sorry, we need to get our notes out. <laughs> The way to get interrogations is by performing special executions or getting shift kills. Because physical interrogation can often be unreliable, you have to interrogate five enemies to make sure you get enough information to locate their lockbox. These interrogations take longer than normal special executions or shift kills, so there's kind of a higher risk reward involved here where you really want to be sure that you're going to get it without being interrupted. That's right, you can be interrupted while you're performing an interrogation, which will prevent your team from getting credit for that interrogation. And for getting any parts for it either. You don't get parts, and your enemy who interrupted you will get parts for it. When your team reaches its interrogation goal, the location of the enemy's lockbox, which is kind of like a safe, will be revealed. At this point, your team enters the second stage of the mode, where you have to go and unlock the other team's lockbox. Your team has to kind of figure out where the box is by deciphering all the information it got from the interrogations. So there's a brief window where the other team has time to set up their defenses and they know you're coming. If your team's lockbox is revealed, you now have to defend it. Yeah, and while you're defending it, you still need to try to get interrogations on the enemy so that your team can reveal their lockbox and enter the second stage of the mode. To win, you have to open the enemy team's lockbox. Which can be pretty difficult, because while you're trying to open the lockbox, any damage you take will get you knocked off. So, did we get everything? Did you get everything? Did you we get, get everything? Did we get everything? Did you get everything? Saying go. Are you telling me to go? I was trying. Okay. So that's it. Check out the rest of the patch notes at NaughtyDog.com. So we hope you guys enjoy playing the new game mode as much as we do. We'll see you guys online.